Hi, I'm Jean Reidberg, and I'm here to talk to you about one of our most prolific products, the Nickel Metal Hydride Pack for DS strobes. Most importantly, I want to tell you why it's important to never lubricate the O-ring for the battery pack and really to avoid removing it altogether. If you're interested in more tutorials like this and all things related to underwater photography, make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and click the bell so you don't miss out on the next video. We also send a weekly newsletter loaded with tons of useful content related to underwater photography, travel, cameras, and more. We'll post a link to subscribe to the newsletter in the comments section below. We'll also post the links to all the products we're talking about in this video. So first, let's go through the parts of the battery pack. On the back, you have the toggle lock. It has a slide, lift, and turn operation that makes it really easy to take it on and off for charging or to attach the battery cover. So it uses the same toggle lock whether you're attaching it to the front of the strobe or the cover. Over time, it is possible to get some sand and dirt inside the toggle. So if that's a problem for you, I recommend checking out our video on how to clean this out. There is a locking switch knob on the side. I'm showing you a DS230 battery pack right now, which features the black side plate and the updated switch knob. The locking mechanism and the contacts are consistent with everything that we've produced going all the way back to the DS125 strobe. So that's cool whether you have a DS160, a DS161, 230, or 125, all the batteries are interchangeable with all of the strobe fronts. So you have the O-ring on the side that mates to the strobe front, and we're trying to keep water away from these contacts and out of the inner compartment that has the high capacity cells inside. I worked in the service department after college about 20 years ago, and I've been diving almost exclusively with DS160 type strobes over that time. And the biggest problem I see with this product is people overthinking it. Some people have O-ring maintenance drilled into their brains and they apply the same methods to every O-ring in their kit indiscriminately. And this can actually work against you in some applications and with this battery pack in particular. And here's why. When the O-ring is seated in this groove, it is preventing dirt and water from getting past it. When you go to remove the O-ring from this groove, you're exposing the groove to contaminants. You're also risking accidentally stretching, twisting, or scratching the surface of the O-ring and the groove. Lubricant does not enhance a seal or improve its waterproof integrity. It simply reduces friction but it's also a sticky substance. It has to be so that it sticks to the O-ring. When you apply a lubricant to an O-ring, it's going to act like a magnet to any stray fibers, dust, and dirt that's around you. And if you've ever seen a single detective show, you know that there's a lot of stuff coating everything at all times. Lubricant is a necessary evil for O-rings, like on your lens port, where the O-ring is sliding against another surface when you install the port. You don't want the O-ring to twist or roll when it slides. Back to the battery pack, your O-ring isn't going anywhere. It's simply being crushed between two surfaces. There's no chance of rolling or twisting, so you don't need lubricant. Lubricant would actually be working against you in this case by attracting dirt and fibers to the O-ring when you put it back on. And you'll never be able to see those dirt and fibers once they're stuck down between the O-ring and the groove. If you've been in a dirty or sandy environment, simply wipe off the visible surface of the O-ring with a damp, lint-free cloth. Don't remove it and fiddle with it. Just clean the visible surface and you're done. So that's it. I promise this is exactly the way that every photographer at Eichlite has been maintaining battery packs for the past 20 odd years. In fact, we have a whole bin of false battery packs with O-rings that go on and off strobes all day, every day for water pressure testing purposes and never get removed or replaced. 
don't come back with a flooded pack because you want to be extra cautious. Keep it simple. Happy shooting.